द यू एन यूनिवर्सल डेक्लेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट अ डॉक्यूमेंट दैट बेसिक फ्रीडम्स टू विच ऑल पीपल आर इन टाइटल्ड सो यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्रीडम्स टू विच दे आर स्टिल इन टाइट वी नीड द प्रेजेंट एंड सियर एंड डॉक्यूमेंट इज सिंगुलर सो यूल हैव आउटलाइन एंड नॉट आउटलाइन एंड हेंस द आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी Grammar and punctuation a very simple section once you follow the prepto strategy and prepto framework of solving questions so the way we go about these questions is always just check it's a grammar question and then have a look at the options once you see the options you know around which aspect of grammar will the error be and then you can start looking at the paragraph or the sentence so for example the 16th question we can see will reach had reached are reaching it's about the tense of the verb right so once you get that we start looking at the paragraph atoms in a synchrotron which is a type of circular particle accelerator travel faster and faster until they reach right so because travel is in the present reach will also be in the present in the same format as travel until they reach a desired level so our answer best answer here is option b you cannot have are reaching because travel is in the simple present form reach will also be in the same form right great 17th question if you look at the options you can see it's a tense question and it is a singular plural question right so great with that in mind we can start looking at the paragraph when writing the other black girl novelist zakia drew on her own experiences working at a publishing office the award winning book is harris's first novel but her writing so her writing is singular right and if you look at the options there's only one singular option has been so her writing has been honored before you're looking at the past honored before and has been works right at the age of 12 she entered a contest to have a story published and she won so best answer is option c 18th question if you look at the options you have forces two force forcing and forced So it's again about the form of the verb. Let's see the paragraph. In winter, the diets of Japanese macaques, also known as snow monkeys, are influenced more by food availability than by preference. Although the monkeys prefer to eat vegetation and land-dwelling invertebrates, these food sources may become unavailable because of extensive snow and ice cover. Dash the monkeys, right? so this is a little difficult because you have a lot of reason and phrase here because of extensive snow so let's remove it these food sources may become unavailable forcing the monkeys right so the best answer here is option c you cannot have forces or forced right because then you would need the main another main clause here forces and forced are main verbs so you could have these food sources may become unavailable and forced perhaps so you're making the second part also a main clause but this is not this is a participle clause right and hence forcing is better if you put to force it seems as if these food sources intentionally became unavailable to force the monkeys to hunt right that also will not work so to force does not work forced and forces does not work best answer is option c right slightly difficult moving on to the 19th question tells told is telling and to tell again verb form in the historical novel the surrender tree cuban author margarita uses poetry rather than prose to tell right you use something to do something so uses to do and hence to tell is the only possibility here right is telling no there's nothing to indicate that it's happening on a, as a, in a longer interval told no this is definitely in the present uses is present tense right and uses to do something even tells will not work best answer is option t fairly easy question 20th question again there's so many verb and this is another thing that i've noticed that even in the reading writing section module 2 right the easy section and the digital sat one there were a lot of questions on verbs so i guess that's what they are assuming that easy grammar are verb related questions so anyways let's do the paragraph we know that this is about were so singular plural right and it's about past present former first lady 
and Indian activist and educator Hansa Mehta were instrumental in drafting the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights, a document that the basic freedoms to which all people are entitled, which is present. So you are talking about uh, freedoms to which they are still entitled. Why? Because the document still outlines, right? In some sense, this is the present, still outlines, is, gives you an idea that we need the present tense here. And document is singular, so you'll have outlines and not outline, and hence the answer is option C. 21st question. People's stories and stories, right? So basically about apostrophes and plural. So when do we use an apostrophe, right? If we are confused about whether we should use an apostrophe or not, just check whether it can be replaced with an off. So for example, if I'm looking at Jane's car, the apostrophe is fine because I can replace it with the car of Jane. Right? So use that as a barometer. Great. Let's look at the paragraph. Literary agents estimate that more than half of all nonfiction books credited to a celebrity are in fact written by ghost writers who are paid to write other people's stories, right? So it is the stories of other people. So if you see here in the car of Jane, it is Jane that has an apostrophe. So here people will have an apostrophe, right? Stories will not have an apostrophe. So people has an apostrophe, stories does, do not have apostrophes. So the only option hence here is option A, right? Because in D you have an apostrophe with the story. Right? You can't say Jane's cars, right? It's Jane's car. Great. 22nd question. Has doubled, had doubled, doubles and will double. So mostly it's a tense thing, right? Future, present, past perfect, present perfect. So formed in 1967 to foster political and economic stability, the Association of Southeast Asians was originally made up of five members. By the end of the 1990s, the organization had. So why are we using had and why are we not using has, right? So past perfect because the organization had doubled before the end of the 1990s. So past perfect is usually used to indicate a timeline between two events. So here you have 1990s end. And before that, only the doubling took place. So you have the past perfect. You cannot use the present perfect here. Because in some sense, it seems as if it happened after the event. When you want to show that it happened before 1990, right? you need to use the past perfect. So answer here is option B. Obviously, we will not use future. We will not use present. This is clearly in the past, right? Was made up. So next question, which choice completes the text? And again, what do we have? A verb, right? So suggested, suggests, had, and was suggesting. So these uh, three of them are past. One is present, mostly about tense, right? In the 50s, a man named Joseph was struggling to keep his business afloat when his sister-in-law advised him to repurpose the company's product for removing suit, right? As a modeling putty for kids. In addition, Right? She suggested. So if you see, right? Advice and suggested. So generally in such things, it's always best to find a parallel verb and then you are certain about your answer. So your answer is option A, right? Please subscribe to Prepto SAT channel. Upcoming at Prepto are more walkthroughs of digital SAT tests from College Board with neat tricks and tips done the Prepto way. And we will be launching a self-paced digital SAT course with practice questions and be giving out free code for the digital SAT adaptive test full length with score prediction and analytics in one of these videos. So stay tuned and prepare the prepto way.